Hi friends! What what was that? <laughs> What's up you guys? We're starting the vlog at the post office. You guys remember how yesterday, sorry. Oh, yesterday's vlog was like all over the place. It was out of focus and I didn't realize until Carlos was editing and he was like, oh my god, babe. Some of the clips are out of focus because I resetted my camera settings and then I forgot to go back for the, because my camera has eye focus. So you guys can't see it, but I can see it on the viewfinder. There's always like a box around my eyes because it's trying to focus on me wherever I move and so that was a, just a disaster so I apologize for the previous video I my footage is like never out of focus so we are at the post office because you guys remember yesterday we went to the post office and they were closed because it was Sunday and um, I have a few mail items from subscribers and I'm very excited okay let me organize this we are now going to head to Kohl's is that how you say it? Yeah. We're gonna head to Kohl's right now to return a few Amazon items that didn't work out. And then I'm gonna try to return something at Best Buy and then return something at Target. So today is just like a full on return day. I am hoping I can make it to um, Home Goods today as well and Michael's. And then we're gonna head home and organize the pantry and the kitchen. And that is what's on the menu. <laughs> we are here at Target. Oh my God, the sky is so clear, you guys. Look at that. There's not one cloud. Even though I love clouds, but um, the sky is really pretty today. It looks like it has a lot of set fill on, very moisturized, perfect for summer. So far, I got this for Carlos and I. We're gonna paint this week. I don't know when, but these were five dollars for a whole pack. Five dollars, five dollars. This whole painting set was twenty bucks. Has all these colors. And then we got these canvases. These were $5 each. I am back in the car. I just did all of my returns, you guys. I went to Best Buy and they have the Apple tags, the new um, Apple Air tags. I don't know if you guys heard about these, but basically they're kind of like on Amazon, there's this brand called Tile. It's like a little square thing and you can put it on your wallet, your keys. A lot of people will like put it on their dog's, um, their dog's collar and you can track them using your phone. And so when Apple came out with these, I did all of my research and we thought that these would be the best to track our dogs. I didn't really love any of the ones that I saw on Amazon. I bought Tile and then I returned it today because I read read that a lot of people said and well it said on the information description part as well that it only tracks within 400 feet so I was like no that's not gonna work so we're gonna try these out I went to Best Buy and I saw these and then they had these leather like a leather thing to cover this and it was $35 each and I was like Amazon has them for way cheaper so I'm gonna go on Amazon tonight and order the things to cover this and maybe we'll set it up this week. I don't think we're gonna set it up today just because we don't have the protect protective cover. Okay, so I returned everything. I'm gonna head to Home Goods real quick and then we're gonna head home because I'm hungry and I want to make um, another vegetables, vegetable, veggie, <laughs> vegetable bowl tonight. But we got even more broccoli, so I'm excited. I'm at Home Goods. How cute is this? I think it's for cheese. Yeah, it's a cheese board. Look, isn't that so cute, you guys? Oh, I wish I had a reason to get it, but I don't. <laughs> I like barely eat cheese. So cute. But why is this $12.99 and this is $14.99? Oh, is it a flower? Oh, because of the flower design? Oh my god. So cute. Oh my gosh, this is a mini version of the chair that everybody has. Oh my goodness. And then look at this. Isn't this so pretty, you guys? Oh my gosh. And then look at these nightstands. So cute. Oh my gosh. How pretty. I love this so much. Oh, I don't think it's good. Oh, there you go. Oh, and then this. So cute. I'm going to got these at Home Goods and I'm very excited for it. I got these at Home Goods and I'm very, very oh my god, what is what is going on here? 
We just have one little piece of hair. I'm really excited to use these. Natural fiber sponge, very excited. We needed new ones. Ice cream scooper, realized I didn't have one at home or actually we do, but it doesn't work. And then we got this. I was about to get this on Amazon the other day. This is for our um, skillet pan thingy that we just got. And then I also got tongs. Ooh, I wanna recommend these to you guys. Okay, so I don't know if every Target has these because when I used to live in Westminster, I would go to the Westminster Mall Target and I don't remember, I don't remember that mall having a really good bake, like baked goods uh, section. But these are so good. If you guys ever see this, these at your local Target, and make sure you guys buy them. They're so, like so delicious. I bought a box literally I think yesterday or the day before and Carlos and I are almost out like we oh they're so good like absolutely delicious freshly baked I believe freshly baked every day I don't know when they're baked but they're so good they're really buttery super moist absolutely delicious I'm gonna cut these and then gonna, oh such good quality how much was this $5.99 this IKEA container is going to be filled with our favorites I'm so excited I feel like I left it in this container and it's not super tight, so I feel like it's not as moist anymore. If you guys are expecting me to be like Khloe Kardashian and make it all pretty, it's not happening today. <laughs> oh, they're, they smell so good. Oh my gosh. I, honestly, you guys, if you guys see these at Target, make sure you grab a box. They're absolutely delicious. Oh, I just want one. Mmm. Oh no. So good. Oh my god. I also got a pack of washcloths. Clock. Washcloth. Wash. Wash cloths. Cloth. Cloth. Wash cloth. Yeah, that'll do. I got eight for $5 in this really pretty color for wiping like kitchen counters and then like putting them by the sink and stuff. Really good deal. Quickest meal to ever be Wait, made. What are our phones for this time? Yeah. That'd be wild. This small? Did you just show your license? No. No. This small? No. <laughs> you need to go. <laughs> Ooh, the oh. broccoli looks good today. You got oh, and then the background is like an aqua-ish color. Why is it so flimsy? You guys, I just renewed my license and compared to the one that I had before, this new one is so flimsy. <laughs> Look at my bowl of veggies. Dang, dude. I'm just eating veggies for dinner. Look at all my veggies. Yay! I love nothing more than greens. I love greens. Oh, this is so good. Oh, man. Um, all I have in here is literally broccoli and steak. That's it. Nothing else. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Hell yeah. Oh my Hell goodness. yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, look. Look. Surrounded by dogs. Mm -hmm. I love them. Oh my god, this is so good. I love you all. Babe, you're missing out. Oh, you never, you didn't tell me you Here. were making. No, no, no. I had, I, no, I ate earlier. Carlos had egg sandwiches without me. What do you mm. mean? I told you you wanted some, you said no. Oh. I know, it's good. Can I have a broccoli actually? I like the broccoli. Um, big or small? No, no, uh, I can have a small one. Uh, it doesn't need to be huge. Here, blow, blow, blow. Oh fuck, it's hot. I know, it's really hot. Oh. But how good is it? That's really good. No, I don't want anything. Honestly, you guys, I could eat this every day. Just a bowl of veggies. Actually, I'm kind of down. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm kind of down. Okay, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit though. Okay. Hey, have you guys ever uh, taken no, an orange? No, no. I knew you were going to say this. <laughs> I knew you were going to say this too. <laughs> you guys. 
ever taken an orange into the bathroom, into the shower, and like ate it? So like you bite into it like an apple, and you just let the juice. No, <laughs> no hey, hold on, that's a lot. Oh, I didn't know. I got excited. Here. Yeah. I, Is that good? No, I need a little bit more meat. Mm. It's too much. Too much goodness. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Sriracha? No, I think I'm gonna eat it like this right now. Oh my god! <laughs> good. It's <laughs> so good. Oh my goodness, Riley. If you guys don't just want to eat it like this, then you can also put it with white rice. Put it with white rice. What am I saying? I haven't been able to talk at all today. The cauliflower is so good. Do you want something to drink? Oh, um, oh no, I'm okay, thank you. What do you want to drink? Uh -huh. Just, I'm already here, come on. What would you like? Mm -hmm. Can I just have my coconut drink? Sure. Mm. You want ice? Oh no, thank you. There should be a small bottle that's already open. Oh my god. It's so hot and a little bit spicy. The cauliflower. Mmm. My favorite ever. Harmless Harvest. It's really good. This bowl is really hitting the spot. I don't like coconut water, but this is like the only coconut water that I can drink besides the straight out of the coconut. Mmm. Same. Oh, nice. Look. Got a little separator right there. Does it pull out? What? Pull out? Does it pull out? Yeah. So it's like that. Nice. Remember, this is the one that, um, this is a skinnier version of the one we were gonna get at Target. Mmm. Yeah. I got this at Home Goods. We can put the boys' biteys. Oh, yeah. We need to organize their, uh, I know. their section. I might go and do that now because it's driving me nuts. Tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day, bugs. What? This whole kitchen is gonna be completely organized. Did you want me to do the, um, your garden things? Oh, the garden beds? Yeah. No, you can hold off on those. I'd rather have your help in the kitchen tomorrow. Okay. I am literally so obsessed with my dress. It is the next day, and I wanted to show you my dress. This is the same dress that I freaking love last time from Shein. I think it was like a, a coral, like salmon color. Well, I went back and got this green color, and I got a size smaller. The last one was a large, and it fit me fine, but it was a little bit big, and this one's a medium, and this fits perfectly. I love it. Friends, we are organizing and cleaning the pantry today. Oh my goodness, this has gone out of hand so much. Um, I literally bought these containers when I first moved in. You guys remember from Ikea? And then we just started like stuffing things in here. And then I always just said, okay, I'm going to organize it tomorrow. And then tomorrow became like three weeks and then it became three months. And so food has just pi been piling up. Please comment down below and let me know if your pantry has ever looked like this so I don't feel alone. But we just have just food on food on food. So we're gonna organize everything today and it's gonna look so good, but I wanted to give you a preview. This is day one of cleaning because my mom is coming. <laughs> So let, let me give you a little preview of what's going on. We got some, some pots, we have some like to-go containers, we have a lot of chips, some, some seasoning, coffee, we have like plates and bowls and stuff from Target. Nothing is are in these bins. Another thing that I've learned is like after living here for a few months, you realize what is convenient and what's not and what's functional and what's not. And I just realized like all these boxes were so unnecessary. How However, I'm very grateful that I still have them because there are other places in the house where I can use them. So we are going to empty this whole pantry first and we'll just start from scratch. But I'm gonna empty it, vacuum, and then we can start organizing. in the same boat as me but man sometimes I actually not sometimes all the time I'll show you guys in the drawers but with Ikea containers comment down below and let me know if you guys have experienced the same thing I don't understand why over time they get like a little smoky looking like dusty looking and um, I would understand with these because maybe like it's sitting in the pantry but also these organizational uh, containers here let me show you guys I mean we like I don't understand you see how it gets like a little bit dark 
This has happened with every single Ikea organizational bin container that I've bought. It just gets dark over time and I don't get it. It's not like the most satisfying thing to look at and I always have to like wipe it down. Like this one has some coloring to it. I mean, it'll be easy to just like wipe down, but I just think it's a little bit weird. I do really love these containers though. But yeah, even like the ones that I bought for like the office area, those also get like stains on them and I don't get it either. And then we have like a few in our closet which hold just clothes, you guys. And that also gets a little bit stained. It's kind of weird. But I love these. If you're wondering, Ikea. And then these are my absolute favorite. I love these. Also Ikea. They have like a little handle. Isn't it so cute? I'm such a sucker for um, light wood accents. So I'm going to... Probably be best if I just take everything out, huh? And then lay all the food maybe on this island and then all the containers on this island. So I'll lay like all of the food that hasn't expired here. Will you wipe down the containers? They're kind of um, dusty. Or do you want to help me clear the, the floor first so I can get in here? All the food is going on the island. Food island. Containers. Only see us in our dreams, I'm outside This is what happens every time we try to clean. Literally. The only one that doesn't care, Riley, is Riley. He literally just goes and chills by himself. But Cooper... Casper, Rocky kind of gets in the way most of the time, but he's not like all up on Casper us and stuff. Casper has to be here. Casper has to be here, and then Cooper like needs to sniff everything that we end up getting. Like he just has to sniff everything. Cooper, 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 Casper. Yeah, so this is what happens every single time we try to clean. So what takes us an hour will always take us four. Yeah, pretty much. I wish I had his hair. Huh. He said, well, he works hard, so. What do you do? He says, don't worry about it. What do you do every day, huh? He says, don't worry about it. Look at this beautiful hair. He says he blesses you with his presence. He said, just being here, you should be grateful. Now they want to get drunk. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we've been emptying. These are so good, you guys. Those are really good. So. As you can see, oh, well, we got one more box right here, but we pretty much emptied everything out because we are going to clean these shelves and then we're going to vacuum. And then, yeah, so as you can see, there's still some stuff here that we got to organize. But if I turn around this way, holy shit, I'm embarrassed. It starts right there. And then this, all this right here, all this right here. Those two trash bags, boxes, everything. And then there's still, there's, some, there's still some more stuff over here. But basically all of this was crammed into our pantry. So it made it really hard to find anything. And obviously if you guys know, you can't find anything. It stays there for a while and you forget about it. I think now that we've lived here for a while, we have realized what is functional, like what works for us and what doesn't. Yeah. So. I think it'll be better for us to like, or I'm actually glad we're organizing the house after living in it for a little bit. So then you can realize what works and what doesn't mm -hmm. like there are some things in the house, like for example, these drawers and stuff, I feel like they're not working out for me. So I'm going to have to reorganize them. What drawers? Like my, like the towels and stuff down here. Oh, like, I feel like they shouldn't be down there. And then this drawer is just like so big and has a lot of room that I can reorganize and make it more functional. And like, the medicine cabinet, I think also, if you want to give them a before. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to this today. It might be in the next video. Like, a, like what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I can do so much more to yeah. put, like, to organize it. So, and like, I feel like since we have so much of those bottles, we can donate some to our family. But we're basically, uh... We're just hoarding at this point. Spring cleaning. Oh, is this, is this spring cleaning? And, oh my god, don't I mean, it's, it wait, it's spring, isn't it? Yeah, and then... Another thing is like all the like the toaster and blender and stuff like I should have them organized where it's easy to like pull out. Yeah, so basically so. before uh, Kim's mom comes, we are going to organize everything because obviously they want they're going to want a tour. 
Oh, they're gonna want a tour. So they're gonna see all the rooms and everything. They're so, gonna bring their. So we definitely want to organize everything, and not only that, but the studio needs oh. to be organized too because yeah. they. I think Kim's family sleeping over. I don't know about my mom whenever she comes, but I think her mom is definitely sleeping over. Yeah, my mom's so gonna need, be the guest room. So we need the. Uh, we need the additional little pull-out bed. Yeah. So. And honestly, like, I think I was just really excited when we moved in here in January because I was like, oh, like, aesthetically pleasing. But although the pantry was aesthetically pleasing, it wasn't functional. Like, there was so much room at the top shelf. Like, why am I having boxes just sit there, you know? Yeah. When I can use that for, like, maybe, like, the Korean barbecue appliances that mm -hmm. I use often. Yeah. You know, things that we need, like trash bags, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Holy moly! <laughs> it looks crazy, you guys. Carlos is vacuuming the floor. Best vacuum ever, by the way. And then we have these adjustments. We're gonna vacuum the shelves. Carlos is vacuuming the pantry right now. Um, I. Oh my God, do you guys remember when we had that mice situation? When we first moved in here, since it was new construction, we had like field mice and they were like really small. I've only, I saw them once, I thought it was a lizard and then we found mouse poop or yeah, mouse poop. So we we're like, oh, it's definitely, there's definitely a mouse in the garage. And I freaked out for like a month cause I have this major phobia of like rats and mice. I just, I, I'll start hyperventilating and crying. Like the idea of talking about it right now makes me like literally, I can't. Well, anywho, but anywho, so when we were going through that, our uh, mice guy, the guy that comes, I don't know what they're called, um, but he's amazing. He comes every month just to check for like bugs, spider webs, and like all the whatever. Anywho, he was like, oh, if you sprinkle garlic powder, like organic garlic powder in corners and stuff, mice and rats do not like garlic smells. Like they will stay as far away at, uh, from it as possible. That's why they always tell you if you plant a garden and you don't want mice or rats or anybody, anything like rodents to come, plant garlic in the garden and they'll stay away. But I went through this whole week where I was like going through shit, you guys. So I sprinkled garlic powder like in every corner of the pantry. And that's what Carlos, Carlos is vacuuming it right now. And I thought it was so funny when I saw it. But I'm so glad we're doing this. It feels, it already feels amazing to like organize your house. I guess you can call this spring cleaning, huh? Okay, you guys, Carlos vacuumed everything. I'm gonna wipe down because it looked like it stained a little bit. Do you guys see that? Babe, do you see the stains? Yeah. That's so weird. So I'm gonna wipe it down and then we'll start organizing. Hi. <laughs> I figure I would put you guys here so then I can like walk in and out of the pantry. Um, so far we're gonna put the containers back in its place, in their place, and then we'll just go from there. I want to make this Functional because you know what I've realized if we don't see the food we don't eat the food so maybe we should have like a section Okay, whatever. I'll just I'm gonna wing it <laughs> When I first moved in here, I was really excited because obviously it was Carlos and I's first house And you know, we we're like we're gonna stay here for a long time finally we're able to own so let's invest in something and I mean let's invest in everything that that we buy because we're gonna keep it for a while so you know I really wanted cute containers and I wanted to you know do like kind of like that thing that everybody does where they like take out their cereal and put it in cute bins and jars and shit but I just realized like it doesn't work for our family and even though it's aesthetically pleasing Carlos I know Carlos and I would never like have like a day where we restock every bin I would rather just keep it in the cereal box and I also have this thing where I'm like how do you know when it expires because my thing is like I like looking at the expiration date so I like keeping things in like the box that it comes in however part of me wants to be those people where because I like it to be aesthetically pleasing so you know what I'm just gonna do it whatever works best for our family so I am gonna put the bins in we have a lot of shelving here which is amazing and then we have like all this room up here which like is pretty high up so I'm like what can we put up there I don't know I'm talking to myself. That was literally me just talking to myself. Carlos is cleaning um, our backyard right now. So he's not here, but he'll be back. I don't know. That looks fine. Dun. This is what we have so far. Looks nice. 
Yeah. Hopefully we can maintain it like this. Yeah, true. But so far so good. I yeah. like it. Looks good. These have so much veggie ramen. Just Carlos and I love them. Our second favorite, fire noodles. So patient, like winter, waiting for June. I'm done and waiting for you, waiting for you. Baby, I'm outside, be thinking about you all night. Be thinking it ain't right if you and me only. We just finished organizing all of our ramens. So in the corner we have like easy to grab cup ramens that you can just pop in the microwave. Then we got the fire noodles, our favorite. Veggie ramen, oh my God, the number one best Korean ramen ever, the veggie one. I'll link these down below because you can easily buy them on Amazon to your door. And then we have the seafood and um, the Chapa get getty. Oh my god, I'm probably saying that so wrong. These two are together because if you mix them, you get the parasite ramen, which is my favorite. And then here is a little bit of miscellaneous. At the bottom, we have the two time nuclear fire noodles, curry, and then the cocoa chicken. And then we have the mama ramen at the top, which are um, Michelle's favorite. So we always have that stocked in our pantry because she loves eating that at like two o'clock in the morning with bean sprouts. It's her favorite and some shrimp. So this is the mama ramen. I grew up eating this until I met Michelle and she introduced me to Korean ramen. So we pretty much both like switch. So this is at the top and then this is the same thing, but instead of uh, noodles, it's glass noodles. It's just as delicious. So we have that in the corner. So I'm thinking that for these, since we don't really, I want to buy some cans. Corn can. I love corn can. Can of corn? Can corn. But um, I have extra sriracha. So I'm going to put that right here. Uh, life short. I got these uh, yesterday at Home Goods. And this I've had for a while. I think I got this at our last place when we were at the apartment. That looks great. Great start, honey. Yeah. Not bad. It's me and you. We go through a lot. Ooh, you okay? Yeah. We go through a lot of sriracha in this house. Spam, we love spam. Oh look, frijoles. Oh yeah, you do have a lot of pastas. Yeah, frijoles. I love how you just have one and you don't eat it. Well, because it was like everything was so disorganized, you couldn't find anything. No, 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 no. Like this? Is that okay? That's yeah. okay. Yeah, that's fine. But I'll switch it around because I know that's driving you nuts. No, that's fine. That's fine. You think so? Yeah. Are you sure? Not like this? No, it's fine. I, I don't. Yeah. Wait. Why is that one tilted? Um, this, oh, this okay. thing. Oh, we have another can. We have sun butter. Don't ask why we have sun butter instead of peanut butter in this house. Yeah, um, I tried it. It's very plain. I don't like it. It I has no it. flavor. If you do like it, you guys, then, you know, that's you, but... <laughs> no, I, I don't know. It just has no flavor. I really want to cook with this tonight. Do you want to do that tonight? Doesn't it look good? Maybe. Whatever. <laughs> Guess without looking. I already saw it's rocky. Oh, well, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It is. What? Well. Rocky. <laughs> rocky. You always lift up mommy's skirts. Oh my god, look at that stretch. He's giving you guys kisses. I freaking love him so much. Mm. My god, I love you. Have you heard of this? Ooh. Have you heard of this? Chimps, China Slim Tea? Okay, where, where did you get chimps? Uh, it's because I saw the CH and then the M on this side. Oh. And then the first thing that came to mind was uh, chai. Oh, um, okay, so I saw this on TikTok and... It's supposed to make you shit? 
Honestly, uh, people say, oh my god, it's supposed to make you lose weight. It's just a laxative. It's just gonna make you shit every day. Mm. But, um... Well, I already poop. Like, it's gonna make me poop even more? Well, Michelle made me buy this when we were at the Asian store. Yeah. And I was like, you try it first. And she hasn't tried it. So, I'm gonna keep it on deck. Yeah, she has to try it first. Like, I was like, girl, you're... Trying to make us experiment first. I was like, girl, your stomach is way better than mine. Okay, I love these rice. They're she my has favorite. Rice? Uh, no, the one that, no, this brand, Uncle Ben's, but the one that we love is uh, the chicken. Oh my god, the yellow chicken. Oh, the, uh... Oh, that's so uh, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good. Where should we put this? We should put, like, front and center. It's coming along. Yeah. We took a little bit of a break, but I'm going to continue now. I got these from the Dollar Tree. I know a lot of you guys uh, commented under today's video that went up this morning and said that I can get those $6 Target containers at the Dollar Tree. I wish that was the case for the Dollar Tree by my house, but I cannot find it. I've been to pretty much every Dollar Tree. I do want to check out Five Below. There is a Five Below like down the freeway, so I want to check that out. But that's why I went to Target. I do know that Dollar Tree has really good organizational stuff, but I feel like you have to be so darn lucky and hope that yours has it. But I went out into the garage and I found like a bunch of things. You know like when you buy things and you kind of just stuff them away? Well, I remembered. I was like, I remember I have these somewhere. So these little hook thingies are from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to hook them inside the pantry to hang my... Uh, aprons and stuff because right now they're like tucked away in a drawer So I think it'll be more organized whenever I need anything. I can just go and get it. Hopefully they're strong It says they hold up to two pounds We are here. We are here with our aprons. Carlos is taking down the boxes to put in the recycling bin I am going to do this. I didn't realize I had so many aprons So this one's Carlos's I had this custom made on Etsy for him. I think it's so freaking cute. I can't wait for him to wear it when we get a grill. Ugh, it's so cute. It has says Chef Carlos on it. Um, speaking of grill, I would like to get that before uh, before Carlos's mom comes. So at the end of June, my mom's coming at the beginning of June. It feels so good, you guys, to like. Oh my god, can we do? Can we start a series called Pantry Talk, where we just like stand in the pantry and talk to each other. So I know the vaccination that is the talk of town, which Carlos and I are fully vaccinated now, and thank God the second time around was not horrible. Feels a little bit better knowing that my mom is vaccinated and we're all vaccinated. I don't know, I'm just really excited to have my mom over. She hasn't seen the house at all. Carlos's mom hasn't seen the house at all as well, so I'm excited. Do, don't aprons have like a little hook or do you just, do you just have to make your own? I guess you just have to make your own. This is one of mine. Hello. Ain't she cute? This one is from Target. Uh, it's not Target. Amazon. So I brought these in here because I wanted to see... Would it be cute on this wall? Did you guys think? I was going to put it behind the door, but I think we should keep the door the way it is. And then I was going to put it right here, but I have a lot. So... Ooh, do you guys think we should though? Right? Just like put it right here. Hidden away. Maybe we should, huh? Cause like what if eventually I want to put additional shelvings here? One more shelf, two more shelf, three. I think I'm going to put it here just to be safe. If you guys are wondering what these big containers are, they're emergency food for if we ever have a natural disaster. They last, I got them on Amazon. They last up to 30 years on the shelf and we just have them as backup here. We actually have like a whole closet in our house for natural disasters things, cause um, we live in Earthquake Nation and um, there's this beautiful thing called the San Andreas Fault. And I am very paranoid all the time. So we have what is called the emergency closet where everything is there. I am going to put the aprons right here. Actually, I'm not that tall, so maybe right here. I might have to move, I might have to move Shorty out a little and put two. I'm gonna do two because we have a lot of aprons. Okay, Dollar Tree, don't be letting me down. Oh, I love these because I'm so bad at nailing things to the wall. These you just paste on. They're probably not leveled, but we're just gonna pretend that they are. Ooh, cute. I love that. I kind of like that we did it behind the door because it kind of hides it. Ooh, this is my favorite apron. I also got this made on Etsy. It says Kim's Kitchen. Kim's Kitchen and it's so freaking cute. Look at the ruffles. Cute. 
I have this one too. Oh wait, is this an, oh, I just got this apron. I have this apron. This one's adorable. This one's a little complicated, but basically this is the front and it like loops around. I barely wear this one, so that's, that's more like arts and crafts. And then I just got this the other week. Okay, now that I'm like aware of my apron obsession, I'm gonna stop buying them. And if I do buy them, I'm gonna have to trade them out. I just got this from Home Goods, ten dollars. So cute. Look how beautiful this is. Doesn't it give you um, like Joanna and uh, Joanna and Jip Gaines from Fixer Upper vibes? And I love aprons with pockets because I can just put things in there. There we go. I have one more. Okay, ready? Da na na. You live? I can't hear you, friend. Hello? Hello? Hello. Oh, I can hear you now. So, this is your section right here. The mamas. Thank you. Yeah. And then this is randoms. <clears throat> this is all about parasite romance. <laughs> this is veggie. This is all fire noodles. And then in there is um, our randoms too. Like, oh, and there's cup ramen. The drinks are in these two, like extra drinks. Um, you'll never have to touch those. Those are like extra containers and stuff. Grocery bags. All of my favorite cream barbecue grills are up there. Those are so cute, by the way. I can't wait to use those. Um, oh, and then I snuck my aprons behind here. Yeah. So they're not like in a drawer. Oh, and then natural disaster shit. <laughs> oh, and then here's this situation. Cause you know how I had all of my sauces crammed in a drawer? So I just put them out now. And then we have this little wheelie things for more sauce. Spring roll, all of the rice paper, you don't have to go hunting. Spring roll, coffee, uh, extra stuff, all the bread stuff is back there. I mean, it's, yeah, uh, this, this three thing is like all you and Carlos, the junk stuff. Oh, okay. That's all your chips and stuff. We have like a lot of chips. I know, but that's it. And then uh, those are empty. I don't really know what to put up there yet. I know, I'm excited. I'm cooking pork belly outside, y'all. Because I don't want the house to smell. I love this portable stove. Can you see me? Yeah. Wait, are you going to cook it and then take it inside? Yeah. Okay. You want me to heat it out here with some leaves? <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want the house to smell. I can't wait to eat here when my mom's here. I know. Ooh, are we rolling outside? We're doing that butter lemongrass uh, steak thing. But we can roll that, right? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to it. I got this. <laughs> no, I got the single pack. Oh, the family pack that we didn't finish. I didn't find. I didn't see it. Oh, it's because I wrapped it up to look at like the original packaging. Oh, that's why. Oh, it's so free cooking outside. <laughs> you don't have to worry about anything. I know, I'm still debating. Um, oh, she's wet. I got a droplet on my face. I'm still debating um, between the, the Blackstone Hibachi Grill or a Grill Grill. Oh, this is so nice. Hey, here you go. Huh? You want some? Open up. <laughs> Open up, mom. Yeah. Okay. It's crispy. I like it crispy, mom. I know. Oh, I made a huge mess. Hi, mommy. I'm here. 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 Không phải cái sáo này, tối tinh sao? Từng tới. Có lấy máy hút bụi không? Ừ. Mẹ có lấy máy hút bụi không? Không xài trả lại cho con. Ừ, con xài chứ tại vì mẹ lo nhà con mà. Mẹ không xài hả? Con <cười> xuống đi nặng không gì. Casper come here. Come here Casper. Oh my god. <cười> Cho ông trắng ha. Ông trắng gì? Ông lì đó. Carlos organized the Nespresso organizer pod container thingies. You guys, this is my new favorite. Columbia. 
Oh my God, Columbia is so good. I'll link all of this down below. I'll link the containers and um, I'll link my favorite pods. And then we have all the pods over here. Look how pretty. Okay, let me show you guys the pantry. We finally finished and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So let's walk on in. I think we're, we could say like we're like, 95% done. I like want to live in this for a little bit and see if I want to switch anything out. But yay, look at the pantry. So we'll start over here at the top. So at the top, you will see all of my favorite Korean barbecue grills. We do a lot of Korean barbecue in this house and I love hosting friends and family and putting a grill in the middle of the table and just grilling away. So we have that. And then we have all of these cans and extra backup containers, seasoning, sauces, miscellaneous stuff. Down here, we have more um, I had like this extra, what is this, Lazy Susan thingy? And I love it, so I just put that in. We have extra ingredients, coffee, and then we literally have a whole container dedicated to rice paper because Michelle and I do a lot of spring rolls, like, every other weekend. So this is all rice paper or seaweed paper because I love making uh, kimbap. And then over in the corner there is all of our breads. So now it's easy to see and we want to make sure that we eat it up. Extra stuff, rice, chicken broth, things like this. Pasta, you guys know we love pasta. These three, this is like all Carlos and Michelle. They just love the munchies. And we do a lot of movie nights on the weekend. So now um, Carlos and Michelle kind of have a section that they love. The only thing that I pretty much love from here are the hot Cheetos. I love, love hot Cheetos. So these are like, you know, like help yourself kind of thing. Um, we got rid of a lot of like chip bags that were already like half eaten that were just like sitting in here. So I'm glad that we got little chip clips and things so it's more organized. More pasta stuff for the soup. These I kind of just like threw together. We'll see how this works out. This whole thing, um, this is Vietnamese noodles. Every Vietnamese noodle I have is in there. And then that is so miscellaneous right there. In the back corner, we have cup noodles, and then we have fire noodles. These are my favorite fire noodles. And then we have veggie ramen, our favorite. Carlos and I are obsessed with this. This is the Nongsham veggie ramen noodle. And then we have the seafood and the black noodle. This is how you make the parasite noodles. And then we have kokumin, curry noodles, and then two-time nuclear fire noodles at the bottom. And then that section is for Michelle. She loves the mama ramen. And then we have the bag of rice. This is my favorite rice. It's called the Three Lady brand. I'm gonna look for a rice container so I can pour the rice in because I don't want to leave the bag semi open like that. And then in these containers we have extra grocery bags and then we have drinks. You guys really should see. Oh, let me uh, let me zoom you out. We have drinks in here. How cool is that? This was Carlos's idea. He's like, why don't we just put all the extra drinks in there? So in here we have extra drinks as well. In the corner we have all of our alcohol drinks right there. Carlos and I drink alcohol maybe like once or twice a year. We don't really drink that much. And then that is like to-go containers and um, like Tupperware and stuff. And then that is my chopper thingies. And then in the back corner here, we have all of this hidden. So we have our aprons, which you guys saw. My big pot that I use for soup or I use to make crawfish. Uh, natural disaster stuff. And then we just have like extra cream barbecue grills and a portable stove and things. So, whoopee. Eventually, I might put some like wood shelves here. I think it'd be really cute. But that is for another day. And then this is the kitchen situation. Tomorrow, we are organizing the kitchen. So that's why all this is hanging out here. Also, eventually, Carlos and I would want to switch this door out to a glass modern black door. It'll be really pretty. But that is for later on. And then those boxes are empty. Okay, if you guys have made it this far in the video, leave a comment down below because I feel like this video is so long, but I don't know until Carlos edits it. Edits it, but I'm not sure if you guys know, but Amazon has this thing called Amazon Live and I might start doing it every Sunday. I'm gonna make my Amazon storefront public to you guys sometime this week. So make sure you, when it does go public, make sure you guys go over to my Amazon storefront and follow me there. Every Sunday, I'm thinking 
thinking about doing an Amazon Live. So all you have to do is you log on to Amazon.com slash live and it's literally going to be a live feed. We can interact with each other and then I can show you my Amazon favorites. And the cool thing about this that I like that I just discovered, I'm completely new to this so I could be wrong, but what I love about this is that while I'm doing the Amazon Lives, the things that I'm talking about will be popping up on the side of the video so you guys can easily access the products and buy them. But another thing I love is I tend to buy a lot of clothing from Amazon so I can try them on during the live and if you guys have any questions like, Kim, how does it fit? Can I see the material up close? Does it stretch? Like, you know, things that you're curious about, I can be your guinea pig and you guys can actually ask me questions. I think it's fairly new, so we won't have a lot of viewers during the live, so I'm actually able to answer all of your questions. But I think I'm gonna do it every Sunday night, so make sure you guys check out Amazon Live and get familiar with it. I will post a video this week and it's gonna be me sharing my storefront, so then you guys will have access to it. Um, um, but I'm very excited. I like doing lives on Instagram, but sometimes there's just so many people. And also when I'm talking about, about a product, it's hard because you can't really link the products there on the live. You can link it on stories. And then YouTube live, I feel like not a lot of people get on YouTube live. So I'm excited to try out Amazon live. So that will be exciting. I think I'm gonna start this Sunday. So hopefully maybe in the next video or the video after that, I'll announce my storefront and then we can start hanging out on Amazon Live together. I have my pork belly, which I'm not gonna lie, I've had maybe 10 pieces walking back and forth in the kitchen, so we don't have that much left, but it's okay. I'm gonna make some nuclear fire noodles. Um, once again, I realized I didn't eat all day. I maybe had five Madelines and that was it. You guys, these are so, so addicting. They're so good. Um, tonight is Tuesday night, which you guys know what that means. Tuesday nights at nine o'clock. It's all about The Handmaid's Tale. If you guys are watching The Handmaid's Tale right now, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about. Let me know your opinion on season four. Carlos and I have been loving it so far. I would say the last two episodes that aired on Hulu are, were so, so good. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to give it away for those who have not caught up on season four yet. But oh my God, it's so freaking good, you guys. If you guys haven't watched The Handmaid's Tale, it's a very, very good show. I would not binge it. I mean, I mean, knowing me, I would probably binge it in like a few days, but it's quite heavy on the heart. Like it's, you go through a lot, especially season one and two. You go through so much with the characters. Season three was like okay for me. Like the end of season three was really good. And then season four, 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 season four is starting out to be so amazing. Season three was the only one where I was like, you know, but I'm gonna make myself just some fire noodles with cucumbers and, oh, let's see if I have some veggies in the fridge. Okay, we have some cucumbers. We have some mini cucumbers. I'm gonna put that in. I always need like some type of greens in my meal. I freaking love the smell of fire noodles. Oh my God, look at this. I'm having it in a huge bowl. You guys know me. I love big bowls. I love big plates. I love them. They just give you more room, you know? Look at all the noodles. And then I have the pork belly mixed in there. Look at that, you guys. Woo! I'm so excited. We have our washed veggies, cucumbers, and lettuce. Sorry, bubs. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're gonna take some lettuce, you guys, and then a little bit of the fire noodles. Ooh, there we go. The only thing I'm missing tonight is kimchi. I'm waiting for Oma. Oma always makes me fresh kimchi in a jar and then we like inter interchange it out. Okay, so we have lettuce, fire noodles, pork belly, cucumber, bon appetitis. Oh my God, it's so good, it's so good. Mmm. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. I'm going to finish my food, take a shower, enjoy The Handmaid's Tale with Carlos. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I had such a good time. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys love today's video. Let me know if you love and want more organizational cleaning videos. I always read through your comments. Your comments never go unnoticed and I take in a lot of your input. So if you guys like a video, if you ever like love any type of video that I do, please leave a comment down below 
below and let me know like hey Kim I love these type of videos I personally love organizational cleaning videos they are my absolute favorite come back tomorrow or the day after I don't know when the video is going up but we're gonna be organizing this kitchen we are going to open up every single drawer in this kitchen and just organize everything I got so many organizational containers we are going to live a more organized life because because mama Ty is coming Okay, Mama Ty is coming in 10 days. When my mom comes, she's bringing her magnifying glass. I just know how she is, especially because this is like my first house. She is going to be investigating every drawer. So we want to make sure that it is perfect for her arrival. So if you guys love these type of videos, organizing before and afters, things like that, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my food channel. Follow me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys over Instagram. But I love you guys. And and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.